Hi, I'm Patrick and this is the Maki Vlog, but right now we're standing in front of a new special edition F-150 Lightning. It's the platinum black version. So let's take a look at it and let's go. This is actually really cool. It has not black matte paint, but it's a black matte wrap. Uh, a lot of little details on this truck just to like take it up to the next level. It's about 98K, but otherwise it's, it's still a lightning platinum, but they're doing a lot of little things. Like the light bar here is smoked out, has the black Ford logo. The, uh, the front grill is slightly different. It's just like a little bit sparkly. I'm not sure if that's uh, from the regular platinum or not. Uh, it's been a while since I looked at a platinum, but just looking at this, the matte black looks fantastic. Of course, you gotta watch out with matte. It's like, it could be really hard. Like I just did a couple of fingerprints there and it's like, you're, you, you gotta be aware of that. But any black vehicle is, can be hard to uh, maintain. If you guys know, we, we have a always on team, we call them, right? So that's our team that's constantly scouring the internet, listening to customers and making product changes as a result of that. So this was another example of what that means. So we saw a lot of people customizing. We know people like to customize their stuff, but the stuff they were doing to Lightnings immediately, as soon as they were out there, just was like, wow, check this out. So we said, we gotta do this. We can't just let people do this, let's do it. So we wanted to do a matte black wrap. So that's what this is. It starts, it is wrapped. It is wrapped. It's wrap. Yeah, it's a 3M wrap. It starts over a black truck. And there's a reason for that because what you'll see is that even though we tried to wrap the entire truck in the 3M wrap, we left certain areas like the high touch points, like the door handles, unwrapped and that's just so that for durability reasons right you guys know everybody knows yeah 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 so so you can see how we've tied all the high gloss bits in based on wanting to keep those those touch points uh clean so uh we wrapped it all in black the front uh light bar has been darkened as well um so this is not necessarily where the final production is going to be but just trust me it's going to be as dark as we can go and be very cool um Obviously, we spent a lot of attention, uh, you know, paying attention to the detail. So like the wheels, for instance, that is a matte black paint on those wheels. And even the lug nuts are black, not something you typically see come out of the factory. Right. So we did we did that kind of a detail. All of the badging has been darkened out, as you would expect, whether even the Ford Oval is black. So truly living up to wanting to make this a black pack. Uh, it does have power running boards. It will come with the power deployable running boards to be very cool. We're gonna build 2,000 of these. So it'll be very cool for those 2,000 people that get one. They're numbered too on the badge. Right? They are numbered. numbered. So there's two badges, two places we do that. One is here in the front area. So, yep. So this one's zero of 2,000, because it's a show car. This one will be yours. Um, but, but that is uh, an aluminum badge that will have your number. If you were lucky enough to get one, it'll have your number on there. There's also one on the the pillar, when you open up the door, you'll see it down there as we open that up. Does yep. the back badge have it too, No. Okay. Those are the only two places it's numbered. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, but the black badge is blackened out, like you would imagine. Uh, what other kind of details? So uh, as, we, as we go inside the vehicle, um, since the doors are open, here's the second badge right here. And then the interior is obviously, guess it, all black but that's not something that you can get in Lightning. And the seats, the black Nirvana leather seats that you see here, that comes from the ice counterpart. So that comes out of the ice truck, brought them into the, to the Lightning so that we can give you that true black, uh, all black interior. Something that again, you can't get uh, in a normal Lightning. If you look up into the glass, you'll see Lightning written up in the glass back there. Is that etched? Nope, that's just a like decal. Cool. Yep, it's a decal, but it's another little, detail as to why this truck is different. One of the things that I like, one of the, this is a uh, decal, lightning, but at nighttime, when lights hit it in a certain direction, it like powers on. It's amazing what this does. So it's reflective, but it's reflective so bright that it'll blow your mind. And so this actually originated back in the days of the Boss 302 Mustang with the decal on the side that was uh, illuminating. We also did it in 2013 when we did the Boss 302 again, and now we're bringing it to the Lightning. So it's just a nice little detail that again at night, would be a surprise and delight when the lights hit it. Um, a couple of the features you're gonna see in the 24 model year, uh, walk away locking. 
So, yep, so whether it's with a key fob or whether it's with your phone, once you walk away, it will absolutely lock. We are also gonna have Pro Power on board, the ability to power it without the vehicle being on. Oh, thank you, that's smart. Yep, so you, so you will authenticate with your, whatever you use, a fob or your phone, whatever. But once you authenticate, you just go to the outlets, hit the green button and you're powered on. And it'll stay on until your, whatever your setting is for your low. Again, listening to our customers and reacting quickly. That's what this is all about. What's that? Yeah, it's all of you guys. I mean, we hear you and, and being able to OTA stuff, is, it's changed the game, right? It's changed the way that we even think about our product development because we're getting the feedbacks, you know, real time. We can respond real time and we can get it out there without a model year change or anything else. So it's really changing the way we think about how we're gonna solve not only customer satisfaction, but even customer problems, right? The whole thing has changed the game. So that's very, very cool. I was considering, I love the color. Yep. But I'm in the desert, it's yep. 120 degrees. Yep. How's it gonna withstand my heat if it's sitting outside? Black is not awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> uh, I mean, clearly it's gonna be warmer in those environments. If you can precondition. To the oh, the wrap is tolerable wrap, to the heat. Yeah, yeah that's no problem. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about your comfort. No, no, no. Like oh, we don't care about you then. Yeah, the truck's not. <laughs> I was trying to be sensitive. Now I don't, now I don't care. I'm like. No, no, no. The wrap. No, the truck, the, the wrap is very durable today. Yeah. Let's take a look inside real quick. And everything in here is black, of course. Let me take my backpack off and I'll sit down and we'll just grab the camera and show you inside. Uh, looks really slick having everything just so black with a little bit of like white trim here and there. So we have a little bit of trim here. Looks brushed metal, uh, nice textures here on the center console. And then in the back, very nice, very comfortable seating here. Hello. Lots more black. So if you're familiar with the Lightning, this will be very familiar to you. It's just really the fact that they've blacked it out. It looks really cool to see everything all together. Um, and if you're not familiar with the Lightning, it has a lot of really cool um, features here. I think that one is locked. Let's see here, but there's the glove box. Um, gear shift is folded down, has a Blue Cruise 1.0, 1.2 and 1.3 are coming to the Lightning. And what else? Do you, what do you want to say about it? I Every time I get into Lightning, I wish that we had a use for it. It's just one of the coolest cabins. Everything about it feels like it has a great function. It's designed fantastically, uh, but it also looks good and it's super comfortable. It's a good reminder to get into the rear of vehicles. And we hear the door open sound because that's the driver door. But it's a good reminder to get into the rear of vehicles because this is so comfortable and so spacious. And so much room. Yeah, there, yeah. there's just and a tremendous amount of room back here. If you know us, I'm someone who has a, a prosthesis. So I have a lot of difficulty with like dexterity. So um, this is really comfortable. And now it's quiet again. Yeah, it's this is really good. comfortable and there's a lot of space. Yeah, it's, it's overall, you know, we, we love the Lightning. I wish we had a, a use for it because uh, then we would buy one, but it, it is a big vehicle. Um, of course it has the B&O sound system here. This is, again, it's just like a Platinum, but it really is, it's that black mat. So I think we're gonna get out and we'll take a look at the exterior because that's really where this thing is, is showing the difference. And here's some of the stuff, like we wanted to focus on this because it is a wrap and it's a very well done wrap like we've seen wraps before in a lot of vehicles and just looking at this it looks like it's done really nicely um oh that's a rubber trim <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but just looking at it all over and it's nothing against uh the fact that anything that ford did but just you know matte stuff is very hard to, to like maintain and not get fingerprints all over it and of course you can wipe it all off but it's, I don't know, if you have a matte black vehicle, let us know uh, how do you keep it maintained. Um, it's I do one hear the, that they're hard to maintain. Yeah, but. now, now the, the great thing is too, of course, this is a, <laughs> good grief. Uh, <laughs> it, is, it is a wrap, which means like if there is some type of issue, like you get a door ding or somebody tries to key your car, you could literally just rewrap that one door. And I'm sure Ford has the, the wrap in stock so that, um, your dealer could take care of that for you. It has the uh, the running boards. I think they're, are they power running boards? I can't remember. Oh, it does look powered. 
Yeah. Uh, if I can demonstrate, this is one of my favorite things about Lightning is how easy it is to get in and out of. People sometimes ask us like, how is a vehicle for ride share or for elderly people? I know the Lightning's really high, but it is actually really easy to get in and out of because of the grabbies, the, the hand grabbies, the grab whatever. Handle. Grab handles and um, the running board. Powered running board is what it looks like. But yeah, it's really easy to get in and out of because you can totally just hold that to drop down. Can you tell that we need to spend time in the Lightning? We actually still haven't uh, been able to spend more than three hours in the Lightning, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, if you don't know, it has a mega power franc and there it goes. It is the Pac-Man of francs. It is awesome. It has so much room, it has so much power. We have uh, power outlets. I'll be honest. Over here, you guys, I mean, you probably know this, but you know, we kind of assume. If you don't, look at that. Look how cool that is. So much um, power in so the front and the back. And just like the Maki, there's the drain. So if you want to fill this up with ice and have your drinks cold, this one's kind of cool because you don't have to partition or anything. It's partitioned itself. By the way, we should mention it is limited. They're only going to make 2,000 of these. Uh, again, it's about 98,000 dollars but it will be numbered so this is number zero and uh wow. if you're lucky you can get one of those uh two thousand um that's so cool just so you know there's other little easter eggs here it shows two golf bags two golf bags yeah. will fit in the front the very yeah, easy and we have fit one golf bag in here so here. Mm -hmm. um which we borrowed from a neighbor sorry guys oh it's, oh, all, good. it's all good there's lots of uh, demonstrating and excited people but that's, uh, you know, else. you've probably seen we, we have uh, had a Lightning Platinum for a few hours. We're trying to get one on loan from Ford so that we can do an in-depth review. Um, this one has about 300 miles of range. I'm just throwing random numbers at you every once in a while. Uh, but we hope to have one that we can do our own like range test where we do 80% down to 10% instead of doing the full 100% because that's how most people do uh, road trips. We won't do any towing because we don't tow, but uh, we want to do some other testing, just sort of like live with it for a week. And how do we like it? How is it driving around town, finding parking, all of that stuff. Uh, but so far, like when we had it for three hours, absolutely love it. It's deceptively quick. It's literally faster than most Mach-E's. Uh, we have a Mach-E G2 Performance Edition. That's faster than this, but uh, otherwise it's faster than a lot of the other, other Mach-E's, which is just mind blowing. And um, they are becoming way more available. Again, this one is going to be a very limited edition run, but right now, you know, it's not like it was, you know, a year ago where you had to uh, get invited to order a Lightning. Now it's like you can just go online right now, order a Lightning, and within a couple of months, it'll be at your dealer. You'll get it at MSRP or maybe even lower. Depends on how well you can negotiate. The crazy markups that you may have heard, Ford has done their best to eliminate those. One, by putting pressure on the dealers, and then two, there's a light rail thing coming through. I don't know if you can hear that. But two, they're, they've ramped up production. So they were initially gonna make 40,000 Lightnings. They bumped that up to 80,000. They're now uh, increased that again. Their run rate is gonna be, be about 150,000 Lightnings per year that they're gonna make. So they've increased the amount that are available. They've also done some price reductions. This one is 98,000, but you can get a Ford Pro if you're a fleet owner for as low as 50,000, but you can get some fairly good spec'd out like a Lariat for under 80,000. So it still qualifies for the tax credit uh, at that price point. So there are a lot of really good options now. If you want a Lightning, there isn't a crazy way Go give it a try, give it a test drive. Uh, we have no connection with Ford, even though we're the Mach-E vlog. We just think this is a fantastic work truck and we're really excited to see what they're coming out with next on this. The black is like one of their first special editions, but we hear rumors there's gonna be other special edition lightnings coming out. We hope so, can't wait to see those. So uh, thank you for watching. If you want more lightning content, more Ford content, we're here at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. We uh, just filmed a video on the rally, Maki -E rally. We're gonna be doing a Ford booth tour. We're gonna to find all EVs here that we can find. We found a Rivian already and a Lucid. So there's gonna be a lot more of that stuff coming up. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you to our patrons for helping us get here to Detroit. Thank you so much for our unbridled, our whisper and uh, engaged patrons. I did that out of order, I don't know why. 
Uh, if you want to join, there's links down below. It's two, four, six dollars per month. We really appreciate your support. Helps us get to places like this. Oh, and our unbridled patrons have a gift from this weekend. We, yes, this week. yeah. Liv snagged a gift <laughs> to send out soon. So uh, thank you guys, and uh, I'm gonna do this Are you for serious? everyone. All we're gonna right. like Liv has to say goodbye. All right. Of course, we're gonna say that. Just remember, whatever you drive, whether it's a Lightning or not. Enjoy the ride. Bye.